Well, I haven't said anything yet. Can you not hear me? <laughs> I hadn't said anything yet. Can you hear me now? Somebody say, okay, cool. All right, good. Good, good, good. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my right monitor in. the one I want right here. Okay, so we'll show that. So we'll shrink it down. Down here into the corner. Okay. And I want... Let's see. Close this. We're going to do a little bit of modeling tonight. 3D modeling, that is. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I, I need to exaggerate this uh, butterfly a little bit more, though. It doesn't print very well. But I think that might be also because I'm printing it vertically. instead of Or horizontally instead of vertically. So I'm thinking I might rotate, rotate it up to print it. Or what I might do is... Hey, Dominic. I might, I might break this out and print it in a different orientation. This is smooth, this face here, but when it prints, you see the layer lines. But I kind of like the way the layer lines look, so I might leave. I'm thinking I might leave it that way because I kind of like the way those layer lines look when it prints. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. Um, but, but the butterfly isn't, uh, isn't printing very well so I might change the orientation of this and make it an insert so that it's a separate part kind of like I did with these the face of these I broke I took these off and made them a separate part so that they could be oriented up so that they would print better and they do print really nice now really nicely now so I might do that with this too but that's not what I'm working on right now yeah, Dominic, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make it an insert. I like I like the way that that sounds, so I'm going to probably do that. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be modeling some axles. And I think uh, what did I, I had one. Let's see. I think I'm going to start with... I think I'm going to start with this one, actually. Just kind of a basic axle. Where is that picture? Right there. So now, most of these axles I'm going to build, I want to build them in a way where the, the center section is its own unit and then you can you can insert styrene rod uh, to make the axles as long or as wide as you want um, but some of these axles like this one here is 
square tube or rounded square and so that won't work as well so i'm i'm not sure about that for some of them for some of them i might just make this wide you know i don't know like maybe well probably wider than anybody would ever use it and then and then you can all make these uh these hubs so that you can cut the axles and then put the hubs on them i'm i'm not sure movable 2 would be wild oh the the butterflies yeah that's very very tiny parts to be trying to make movable unfortunately you could probably do that mopar if you use like some pop can actually you know what i have um a hole punch that i punch little circles out of the aluminum and i bet you could punch a hole and then glue those to a little piece of styrene so that it would actually turn that would be really cool a d-type jaguar street wheel cool cool very cool i'm uh i'm not the best mo at modeling yet i'm still you know trying to learn so um i'll get there let me add a cube here and let's scale this thing i don't know actually here let's see let's go I suppose two mil wide is fine actually you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna do that again because i want to actually give me this here two mil oh i guess that's the same thing um let's go let's scale that on the y-axis and let me let me get my calipers out because i want to measure oh hold on i dropped them i'll be right back i gotta climb under my desk and grab my calipers Dominic, I never did get an email from you. I'm not sure if you if you have the right email address. I never did get your email. I did look for it. Okay. So 60 60 millimeters should be more than enough. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm not going to make this uh, square. I'm going to do this one the same way. And then I'll just model some axle tubes that you can print. No, I never got an email from you, Dominic. Here, I'm going to put my email address in chat. That's my email address, so I don't know if that's what you're emailing, but I, I haven't gotten anything from you yet. Where did my blender go? My screen went black. Did I unplug my monitor? What's going on here? Hold on, guys. Yep, I unplugged my monitor. <laughs> Okay. 
blenders in the kitchen. Ha ha ha. Hilarious, Mopar. You're fucking hilarious. Okay. I'm going to measure the pumpkin on my Pro Mod. It's 18 mil, so I'm going to call 20 mil the standard. We'll see how that goes. Let me resize that 20 mil. All right, let's go into edit mode, grab these edges, and let's bisect those. Like, I don't know, let me think. One, one, two, three, seven times. That should work. Okay. Thanks. Anything to help? Open the savings account. <laughs> okay. Congrats. I hope that works out for you. <laughs> All right. So we'll grab this ring. Actually, you know what? Grab all of these. No, we don't want that. We want that. All right, and then we're gonna we're gonna go to a side view. We're gonna scale that up just a little, and then we're gonna grab these, and scale these up. Grab these, scale these up. Just hmm. okay. Maybe a little. Less. how you killed the first one is it toast resin <laughs> all right let's see let's bring that down just a little bit i want to emphasize the uh the pumpkin a little bit more and we'll bring these actually we'll bring these in scale them on the, on the Y and then let's bring these down just a little bit and we'll scale those in on the Y that looks a little bit better Give me this face and this face I'm sorry, Edge. Oh, I don't want you. I want you. And you. <clears throat> All right. Bevel these a few times. That ain't what I wanted. Hey, what's up, Josh? 
just doing a little bit of modeling. Just tinkering around, seeing what we can get accomplished. I don't want to bevel it that way, though. I don't like the way it's do that's doing that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just grab these and these and these and these. And then I'll just bisect the legs a couple times. Grab these. Bisect those a couple times. And what I can do is just grab this one and this one. Just soften that a little bit. Now that looks better. All right, so let's do the same thing over here. That'll work. You guys wanna wanna jump in a hangout? I could always start up a hangout. I think I want to bring this one and this one down a little. Yeah, that looks a lot better. <clears throat> I'm going to split this right here one time. And then I'll split this other one one time. That one and that one. Let's bring that down just a little bit. Yeah, that looks a lot better. You stopped NCIS to watch Devil Dog dot games. Oh man, you rock! I appreciate you. Thanks, Procary. Welcome to the stream. Must be an expensive file. Yeah, some of those things uh, are really intricate. Okay, so this is the profile. <clears throat> and in the lower right-hand corner of my screen, you can see kind of the idea that I'm going for. So I'll draw a face on this here. Uh, and we'll get the, the backside of the pumpkin. And then we'll cut the front out for the third member. But so far, I think that'll be all right. Let's see, I think that looks pretty good. Let's let's see what a bevel looks like on these. What the hell? All right, so maybe we'll just try one at a time. Help. 
not supposed to do that. Woo woo! Sexy. Alright. Well, let's see what it looks like when we do it here. Try something. Yep, it's going to do that anyway. Well, that's okay. We can we can deal with it at some point. It's not going to work too well for us on the pumpkin, but that's okay. I can I can work with that. That'll be all right. So let's see what it looks like out here on the. about like that that looks pretty good need to get my butt over to the bench and clean airbrushes and see if I can find out what's wrong with them before I start asking JP for help yeah what's the problem seals could be leaking or clogged nozzles yeah definitely I mean I would start by soaking them happens if I bevel these yeah that'll be that'll be some cleanup I'll have to do but I think that's okay actually you know what I could do is I could just uh, bevel it before I create the center section that would be fine. Yeah, let's try that. Let's go, let me go into vertex mode. Let me delete these. Take this, reset our origin, center it up, bring it out to 20, go into edit mode, get rid of this face, no faces, okay, so Need to center it again. I'm a bonehead. All right. Now we'll go into 3D, edit vertices or uh, edges, and we'll split that bad boy quite a few times. That'll work. Let me uh, measure the the height on this pumpkin here. Give me just a sec. Call it 14, 14 mil. Okay. Two types of rear end banjo where the center section comes out the front and Salisbury with access in the rear. Yeah, I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the front and the rear um, removable on on all of them. So you can put whatever rear plate and front plate 
or rear plate and and third member you want. So I just got to make the housings first, and then I can cut the hole in the uh, in the front and back side. And then all I got to do is model, you know, 10, 20 different third members and and back plates. Should be fine. All right, so let's grab this. We're going to bring this up. Let's see. If my... I'm at two mil. I want to scale it up to 10 or five because it's double. So let's go up to five. Nine, nine. Oh, oh, oh. Come on down. Come on down. Trying to get it as close. Good enough. All right, so that should be 10 mil. What did I say? No, I said 13. All right, I don't want to scale it again. Actually, I should have went seven. Instead of five. All right, so there's six. You can see in the upper left hand corner when I move my mouse, it, it gives me a number, and I'm trying to get it as close to seven as I can. So 703, 702, 701. Boom. Booyah! See, yep, put me right at 14.2. That's perfect. Possibly clumping up or drying at the tip. Get some crude cut crud cutter. Drop the nozzle and protect it and even that move it in that there a while. That helps me when I have that happen with badger stuff. Mopar, what are you talking about? He's answering me what what I was saying about um, about having the front and back plate removable. I I think maybe I'm wrong. You can correct me, Mopar, if if that's not what you were responding to. But I thought that's what you were responding to. Let's grab this one.
think I'm grabbing the right ones. Nope. This one is not doing a very good job of rounding this. I feel like that's too big. The scale, the height scale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna light up a hangout. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm going to kill my stream and then jump back in the restream, or I'm sorry, using uh, Hangouts, and then I will, uh, so you'll have to refresh um, your browser, but then I will, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys jump in and, and join me. So give me just a moment here. I'm going to end this stream, and then I'll be right back.